Good morning, Gail. Is it a good morning, Gail? It's a fabulous morning. It's sunny out. We're in Seattle. I know, but don't wear shorts. Otherwise, it will start raining. <laughs> I had shorts on for the last two days when I was off. It was beautiful. It was like in the high high 60s, low 70s. I know. I know. Well, hey. We're Not for me. Here. It was nice and warm. Well, I was working yesterday, mm -hmm. Gail. Well, you had your two days. Ago. I was working for the man, a.k.a. You. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have the EC702 from DeLonghi. Yep. Um, this, Stainless. Stainless. This is kind of in the series of their smaller single boilers. Um... Why don't you take me through its situation? Its situation. Stainless casing, as you can see, mm -hmm. combined with plastic. This is plastic, 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 but some stainless. Okay. Cup warmer, rails, pressurized portafilter. Comes with a double and a single. That makes it pressurized right there. Aluminum portafilter, stainless baskets, single and a double. For, and you can do pot or ground. Yes. Comes with as a scoop. indicated. Comes with a bottle of... Here. Yep. Descaler. De yeah, descaler. Not descal, but a different one. Okay. Water tank here on the side. And I'm going to say that looks like about 32 ounces or so, I'm guessing. Okay. Actually, that's convenient. And you can see if it's empty, too. I like the side access. Um, Panarello. Typical DeLonghi Panarello that does for cleaning. Oh, look at it dribble. <laughs> <laughs> And we, know, we notice it doesn't, it just is a back and forth movement. It doesn't yeah. move a lot. That comes off. So you can clean all these portions, all the pieces and parts. Yeah, it only goes back and forth, which is not all bad. I mean, at least you get some access, you know? Yeah, well, I guess we'll see, see how, how it fares. Yep. Um, obviously, steam. You can get hot water out of this by putting the brew button on and turning. This, this steam arm is a little bit different. It's a lever. Right? Yes. And, you, and pretty, you just push it down. Pretty. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You push it down. I'm not going to turn it on. It'll make a mess. More of a mess. Pretty good size drip tray for a machine of this size. Get off of there. It clicks up. Oh, okay. I've got some knobs here. See? Go down in the holes. Nice one, Gail. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got my and we've got our... Uh, the lovely oh yeah upward built, tamp built, built in, in tamper. tamper which i've never been a fan of those but hey whatever works all right let's see what she let's see what she's made of let's stick the spouts under the or the coffee glasses shots under the spouts i just think it works better that way what do you think i think that's a good idea gal you're always filled with good ideas. Okay, so we don't know. Folks, this is the fourth shot we've done. We tried different grinds. We tried tamping and not tamping. That left dude will just not extract. And it has nothing to do with me having it level or not level. This is not a gale-induced problem this time. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Let's. I guess let's try this shot. Look, there you go. Look at that. That's what we found. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Man, it's hot. Doesn't taste bad. It's hot. That's because we've been pouring shots into those glasses. They're super hot. Mm, yeah. Tastes okay. I don't get the unevenness, though. Well, maybe we should look at the spouts and see if there's something restricting. So you thoroughly investigated that portafilter, and we couldn't really, couldn't find anything structural. We took it all apart. I can't figure out why. I'm very carefully... Making sure that it's filled evenly all around. I'm not tamping it just to see if the tamp. But. Well, you know, the thing is, too, is that it might just be like a spiritual thing. <laughs> the machine itself may just be like a political thing. Maybe it hangs a little to the right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, so we're getting up to steam temp. Okay. Yeah, just got to wait for it to get up to temp. Here, it'll take a second, I'm sure. There okay, we go. ready to go. Didn't take long at all. Put that right back in there. <laughs> Pre warm the cup. What the heck, right? <laughs> and this has a panarello, so <clears throat> no special techniques. We got some big bubbles going on, but it's hot. Cooter now. Definitely came up with big bubbles. I think that'll do it. 
Hit the button, cat. Oh, see? This time around, we're good. Well, maybe there was something in there to lodge that we didn't know about. Although it's still coming out of the right more than the left. A little bit, not much. Yeah. I mean, since we did take it apart thoroughly, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Not great crema. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And we've got, <laughs> we got your big bubble thing going on. Yeah. Which it didn't, it, I couldn't make the big bubbles go away afterwards. Yeah, the foam isn't what I would call micro or thicker, you know. So, I'm going to talk about the pros. Yeah. Pros and cons. Stainless steel casing, really nice look. Like, put that somewhere. Okay. Um, pressurized basket. That's good for a lot of people. It's flexible. Pods or grounds. Pro pods or grounds. I like where the water tank is at. I like the casing. Mm -hmm. This tends to go back by itself, which I didn't like as I was foaming with it. The other thing I really don't like is on all of these, you have to use a flipper like this to make it go over. And let's get a Knockbox over here. And that's like... That's a DeLonghi thing. Yeah. So, okay, you go to go like this. No way. You pretty much have to go like this. Flip it over. Now I'm in danger of hitting my knuckles on the side of this thing. And now I've got like this. A little cow pie messy mess. So, cow pie, yeah. I think that DeLonghi would do well to make some sort of a situation where this would lock in. Rather than this flipper. And we've seen that where they'll have the little tabs and then there's like a little ridge Groove. and you kinda like twist it. Yep, you just give it a quarter turn and they and quarter turn and they stay in. Not on the Delonghi, so so that's a con for me. <clears throat> um always has been. Coffee quality seems to be similar to the rest of the Delonghi's yep. in this class that yep. we've seen. The up tamp, I've never been a favor a fan of that. It has a nice big drip tray. I like that. Yeah. So it's got its good points, and it's got its points that I would change. I think for the for the metal casing and the price point and stuff like that, it's a good choice. There's a lot of fans of this machine out there. Mm -hmm. Again, it is entry level. Yes. Um, yeah. You, I mean, you're getting what you pay for. Yeah, and so the the shots are, you know, okay. We yeah. should we should say that we did pull shots using a rocky grinder, though. <laughs> Most people won't be doing that. No, no, they'd probably um, be using pre ground, but yeah. still. We, you know, we tried different grinds on it, and we were trying to get it. Yeah. All right. So that is the DeLonghi EC702. Pros and cons. Thanks, Gail. You're welcome.